Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. We're in Hebrews chapter 10. Now, chapter 10 is going to continue to look at Jewish life and Jewish worship, things they were all familiar with. We've talked about high priests. We've talked about temples. Now we're going to talk about sacrifices. Chapter 10 explains why all those sacrifices were made over the years. Every Jew understood that sacrifices were being made for sin on a daily basis. Thousands, tens of thousands of animals were killed over the course of the Jewish nation as a reminder of their sin. But then Jesus came down and the Father gave him a body so that Jesus could do more than just remind us of our sins, but with his body as a sacrifice could redeem us from our sins. And so we must hold fast to him because he as the perfect sacrifice now sits at the right hand of God waiting for all of our enemies to be conquered. He is the great savior, the great conqueror, the great king. And we are to hold to him with confidence and sincerity and faithfulness. And then from about verse 26 through the rest of the chapter, he's going to deal with the fact that we've got to do that because once again, do not drift. Don't fall away, don't slip away, don't neglect your salvation, and he'll once again deal with the risk involved with neglecting so great a salvation. One should not do that. It's a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That's Hebrews 10, a reminder of the sacrifice that was made for us, and a reminder to hold fast to that Jesus who is both king and high priest and great Passover lamb on our behalf. That's your Daily Cup, and we'll see you tomorrow.